folks. Welcome to Pack Leaders Dog Rescue. Uh, today we're working with uh, Duke again. Um, Duke was a, uh, um, a plot, he's a plot hound that has a uh, um, food uh, aggression issue. Um, we've been working with him for about uh, five days now and he's progressing very, very well. Um, he had a severe um, um, food uh, aggression. Um, what I'm doing right now, holding some food right here and with him uh, this close, could not have happened five days ago. So he's progressing very well uh, with some of the um, uh, techniques that we've uh, shown in other videos. Um, what I wanted to do today is, uh, now that we're at this stage where we can uh, get Duke to a uh, balanced state, or a closer to balanced state, um, and now we're going to do another technique that uh, will help him um, learn patience um, when he is uh, receiving niblets of food. And basically what I'm doing is that this is my food. I've taken ownership of the food and I'm going to share with Duke, but I'm only going to share with Duke as long as he's respectful and, uh, and, and I see his energy coming down. So let me show you what I mean. Sit. We put him in a sit position. so. That he's earned. Now I pull out a bone that, that he's been uh, looking for. Up, sit. Very good. And then I give him a treat. I let him take the treat. I don't give it to him quite too quickly. I just hold it for a second or two and then I let him have it. And again, I'm sharing a treat with him. I'm sharing my food. He's being respectful. I don't, he's, uh, he's not uh, showing any types of aggression. I'm going to go to the side a little bit so that you can see Duke a little bit more. A little more of Duke, a little less of me. He's a little bit close, but I'm just trying to show just how close I can get to a food aggressive dog once the proper rehabilitation has been done. Um, Duke could not have been touched before. I couldn't have been this close with food and he would have been much, much too excited. So basically, what we've worked on with Duke is to get his level, his energy level, down to zero or one. Um, I'd say he's at a one now, maybe a two. Um, and to teach him patience that the food is going to come and he doesn't have to worry about, uh, about food being taken away, so on and so forth. Uh, become anxious on it. He needs to be respectful. Uh, we've... Uh, we've been consistent on feed times and so on and so forth. Um, he has to wait before uh, he eats. He has to be in a seated position. Um, and this is the outcome. And as you can tell, um, he is doing so well. Uh, he's not going at the food. He's not trying to take the bone away from my, um, my hand. And again, I'm inches away from his, uh, his snout. So um, he's doing very well. I'm, I couldn't be happier or prouder. Um, the sniff right there, no. Nope. Um, the slight correction. Now we put him back into corrective. This is respect. Now we give him affection by giving him a treat. And again, when we're giving the treat, you can change the pace, hold on to it for a second, then let it go. Um, hold on to it in your hand, make sure he's being respectful as he is. And then when we give it to him, then he takes it. And then we're giving him affection. Now, again, if your dog has any type of food aggression, please get a professional to help you with it. Um, food aggression can lead to biting, so on and so forth. So it is a, a concern and uh, should be handled um, uh, through a professional. Don't try this at home um, unless you have a, a professional with you or the absolute uh, faith and trust and respect from, from the dog that you're working with. And as you can see, um, Duke and I have, uh, have bonded in that, in that sense. So uh, I trust him and I trust that he would never do anything aggressive towards me. Um, and he understands that, that uh, I will show the three things that I'm supposed to. I will give him plenty of exercise um, we'll deal with the uh, rules and regulations of our home and our uh, rescue and uh, of course, as always, one kiss. Um, we'll show uh, affection. Um, and that's it. That's uh, Duke and uh, another tip on 
how to deal with the later stages of uh, rehabilitated uh, food aggressive dogs. As always, be confident, relaxed, and affectionate pack leaders. Cheers. Good boy. What a good boy.